Fishman, Arthur Arkish here for ChicagoFootball.com at Hallis Hall the day after the Bears won their second game in a row, second road game in a row, beating the Rams in St. Louis. And Arthur, we just got a chance to talk to John Fox and a couple questions, of course, about Jay Cutler, a career-high 151 passer rating. And John Fox really talking about how much Jay Cutler's decision-making, pre-snap, post-snap, uh, has really impressed him. That's something that's kind of been uh, an issue for Cutler in the past, and, and doesn't it speak to how much Cutler's grown in this offense? Absolutely. Two of the bigger issues of the Cutler tenure here in Chicago has obviously been the turnovers. They said they've been working on that. Cutler's on a run of not turning the ball over. Terrific, obviously. And then the ability to read defenses pre-snap, as you alluded to, and be able to change on the fly. The third and ten, of course, yesterday was a huge example. It was an audible by Cutler. Uh, they picked up the first down on an outside run to Lankford. Yeah, and Cutler, of course, you know the, the big throws, and he had a lot of help from Zach Miller and Jamie Lankford to up that yardage and get those two big touchdowns, but he was calm and poised against a very good Rams defense. On the Bears defensive side, uh, that Bears defensive front, I was pretty impressed with the way Willie Young, Lamar Houston, I thought Jarvis Jenkins, Eddie uh, Goldman, Sam Acho with Alperna McPhee, uh, Bruce Gaston as well, getting some push, forcing Nick Foles out of the pocket, making him uncomfortable, and this is something the Bears are going to need. You know, they're lacking in personnel on defense, they're going to play some good offenses coming up, but got to imagine that was a good start with the way that they played on against St. Louis. Yeah, great contributions collectively, I think. You just mentioned a, a number of guys, obviously, and guys like Goldman and Jenkins needed to bounce back a little bit, obviously, against a physical run uh, offense like like the girly uh, Rams, if you will, and they did that, uh, and it was a wonderful job, I thought, by the outside linebackers. Not a ton of sacks, but a lot of disruptions, and uh, a really nice job next man up without the best defender on the field. And in the secondary, Tracy Porter, uh, week Excellent. after week, continues to get some key passes batted down. Now, John Fox not ready to talk about the Broncos yet. We'll hear more from him on Wednesday, Thursday. We'll get more from Gary Kubiak as well, but obviously Peyton Manning is going to be the big storyline if he plays, if he doesn't. Uh, and then there's Brock Osweiler, who John Fox talked a little bit about today, how smart Osweiler Osweiler is good feet for his size and you know Arthur it would be Osweiler's first start in the NFL going against the head coach and offensive corner that drafted him so if we talk about guys who know Osweiler probably better than anybody else in the league to begin with uh, it could be quite the plot to follow this week yeah no doubt I mean I think it's hard to say that this is not a unique advantage for this Bears staff as you said they watched him and practice every day studied him and on film so it is the first NFL start there's still an element of unknown but if anyone's gonna know him it's John Fox Adam Gaze and company that should be I would think at least a minimal edge for the Bears Sunday well Broncos are sliding the Bears are climbing right now and uh, at four and five there's a lot of confidence here in Hallis Hall we'll see how it carries on through the week as they get ready to play in Denver for Arthur I'm Kevin they'll do it for us here at Hallis Hall for all the best Bears coverage stick right here at chicagofootball.com